guidance of the Holy Spirit. I now invite you, together with your sponsor, Cecilia, and the presence of this community, to profess the Catholic faith with us. In this faith, you will be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord Jesus, who is the sign of the Church's unity. And so I now ask all of you who are here present that if you believe these statements of faith with all your heart, that you respond with a resounding I do to all of the questions which I now present before you. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all of Satan's works? I do. And all of Satan's empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, who has risen from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. We are pro pro proud to profess it with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Robert, I ask you one further question. Do you believe and profess all that the Holy Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God? If so, I invite you to respond with a resounding, I do. I do. <laughs> then I invite you for the very first time to come to the waters of life and to allow God's light in these waters to flow over you. Robert, the Lord Jesus, receives you into his church. His loving kindness has led you here, so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith which you have professed in the presence of your new family, the church. Congratulations! Yeah. Sisters and brothers, now it is your turn. You have the great privilege and honor now to come to the waters of life, that you may take the waters from the font and bless yourself in any way that is most appropriate, perhaps uh, taking the waters over your head, as you saw Robert do so joyfully. Um, you may make the sign of the cross in any way that is appropriate to allow these life-giving waters a sign of God's covenant, of the promise that he has made to you. To renew that in a way that is most appropriate for you. We ask you to do it reverently and to do it with a great respect for the procession. Uh, as you come forward, uh, you will extinguish your hand candle and place it in the basket, which will be held for you by the ushers. And I ask you to please follow the direction of the ushers that are through the church. If you look and see to the front now, you need to look to the front. And that uh, they will give you directions so that we can come to the font in an orderly fashion. So let us come now to the waters of life. <laughs>